very good morning to all of you today we will start a fresh chapter okay and uh, we will start our post midterm with grammar and the name of the chapter is the use of verbs in tenses please open your grammar book page number 37 now we will discuss about verb in tenses now we have already discussed what is verb verb is a doing word jo kaam karta hai okay a sentence cannot be complete or a sentence cannot be right without a verb so it is very very important to use verb in a correct manner whenever you are writing or whenever you are speaking so verb is very very important in this chapter we will discuss about verb in tense now tenses tense means time okay past present and future so we have to understand this okay when in which tense which verb will be used so let's begin the verb is a significant part of a sentence in every sentence the form of verb changes according to its tense subject mood voice and narration so a verb is a very important significant part of a sentence or a very very important part of the sentence so whenever you are writing any sentence the verb will change according to its tenses according to the time according to the subject according to the mood happy sad gloomy according to the voice whether it's male female uh, what type of voice and narration when you are discussing something or when you are describing something so the verb changes in every sentence that is why most mistake made by students are those which relate to the use of verb so whenever you are writing some sentences maximum students uh, used to write a wrong sentence they used to do a lot of mistakes because of the verb because as we have already discussed that in every sentence according to its tense or subject or mood the verb will change so you have to focus whenever you are writing a sentence or whenever you are speaking some things okay because in one sentence you will um, use one word and in another sentence you will use another word so the word will change from one sentence to another in this chapter we shall deal with the use of the verb in tenses so in this chapter we will discuss about the verb in tenses in time period how can we use the verb in times okay so that i have already told you tenses means uh, time present past and the future we have three main tenses they are the present the past and the future so past tense present tense and the future tense we are basically deal with these three tenses okay now the examples let's see the example the present we do our work here please see the red one do do is written in a red color right so this is a present tense we do our work hum apna kaam karte hain theek hai the past tense we did our work do is a verb okay so this do this verb has been changed into did did because we are writing this sentence in a past tense number 1 the present tense we do our work do is a verb and it has been written in a present tense but the second point we did our work do has become did verb has changed right so this is a past tense we did our work past tense of do is did now the future tense 
we shall do our work now this do has been changed into did when we were writing in the past tense now this do and did has been changed into shall do because this is in the future tense the present tense we do our work hum kaam karte hain the past tense we did our work hum logon ne kaam kar liya the future tense we shall do our work hum log kaam karenge to this is a future tense so you must have noticed right do has been changed into did and shall do so this is the tense this is the use of verb in tense each tense has four different forms simple continuous perfect perfect continuous now you have to uh, remember this four tense okay four different forms of tense simple continuous perfect perfect continuous and thus we have 12 tenses in english now we have how many tenses 12 tenses they are present simple past simple future simple present continuous past continuous future continuous present perfect past perfect future perfect present perfect continuous past perfect continuous future perfect continuous now you just have to remember this 12 tenses okay we will discuss this point in our next class okay the past present simple and simple continuous past perfect future perfect we will discuss all these in our next class now in our mid term i have given you uh, something to read from chapter verb page number 33 open your book page number 33 conjugation of verb right here we have discussed we have read present past past participle present participle for example present abuse abuse uh, past tense of abuse is abused past participle of abuse is abused past present participle of abuse is abusing so i i told you all to read this very very carefully right so we have to remember that this past present past past participle and present participle will be continuing in this chapter and the the use of verb in tenses okay in our next class we will discuss about uh, from page number 38 present simple past simple future simple how can we learn okay so please go through the chapter very very carefully and learn all the 12 tenses and uh, four tenses also and um, in tenses has uh, four different forms right so we have all together 12 tenses actually we have three tenses that is the present tense past tense and the future tense now this tenses has four forms simple continuous perfect present continuous again these four forms has been divided into 12 tenses clear present you just have to see here in this uh, column there are present past future okay present tense past tense future tense but this present tense past tense and future tense has also uh, other forms that is present simple past simple future simple so we will discuss this in our next class